Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Deborah Waldron Fry, Port Huron, Michigan. These are exciting times. I heard, these are exciting times, my daughter. Do you feel it in your spirit, child of God? Abba, Father, is not worried about these last days. He calls them exciting. Exciting for his children. Why, Lord, it's so easy to be afraid of the future and the things that are happening. He says, O oh, my beloved, do you not know I hold your future in my hands? I am the God of everything, the God of time and space, the God who is and was and is to come. As you look to me, heavenly portals are open over you, holy highways that lead unto my presence. Look up, child of God. Don't look at your circumstances or yourself, but look up. As I heard this, I felt a holy excitement in the atmosphere and a sensation of being drawn upon. All of heaven is celebrating as you come into the king's presence. Joy is bubbling over. Get ready, beloved of God, for a divine drawing and ascension into his presence. The father continued, Beloved, I have not left you as orphans, oh no. I came to bring you life and life abundantly. Look up when darkness seems to close in on you. There is an open heaven over you. As you look to Jesus, who is the door, there is a portal that takes you directly into my presence. The enemy cannot come upon this highway of holiness. Only the redeemed walked here. Surely the Lord is in this place, and you were not aware of it. It is the house of God, the gate of heaven. The gates of heaven are not just for the afterlife. Oh no, my child, they are open for you now. The saints of old could not ascend upon the stairs of life, but through the sun you may come up here. As you look to me, as you draw near to me, I will draw near to you. It only takes a thought, a word, a cry, or a whisper, and I will draw you up into the holy of holies. My doors open to you, my child. The gates of the Father's house swing wide and welcome you. The angels are ascending and descending. They are your divine es escorts, your they bring you into my presence. You have 24-7 access by the Spirit who lives in you. Come, beloved, let your thoughts reach up to heaven and you will be drawn skyward. Come before me and present your request to me in your time of need. Be anxious for nothing. My pr presence and my peace that surpasses understanding shall guard your heart and your mind and you shall be drawn up on waves of glory into my presence. That is why you must think on these things, dear one. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right and pure, whatever is lovely and admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think on these things. Do not let fear or doubt block your way. You are ransomed of Yahweh, the redeemed of Yeshua. Come into the secret place by faith. Come up, beloved. I shall catch you up to paradise, to the third heaven, that you would hear sacred things and proclaim them, things which at one time were not permitted to tell, but now is the time to release them. It is time to bring heaven to earth, my child. Come up here, come up here, beloved. The king is drawing you after him into his inner chambers. Come upon me, my weary one. Come into my presence. I will show you the path of life. I will show you things to come. You shall proclaim my works and my wonders, for in my presence is fullness of joy. At my right hand are pleasures forevermore. Hear the Spirit calling. Arise, come away with me, my beautiful one. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, that we would look at these days with excitement and encouragement. God, when sin abounds, grace superabounds. And Lord, may we superabound in your grace, in your faith, in who you are, in seeking after you, God. May we look at these last days not with fear, not with trepidation, not with frustration or with judgment, God. But may we look for you to come through. May we connect more with you, Holy Spirit, today than we did yesterday and tomorrow even more so. God, may we spend more time in your presence than talking about your presence, Father. And we thank you, God, that through the eyes of the Holy Spirit, we too can say, these are exciting times. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.